So we, we touched off on this on, on the top, you know, uh, Pete Seeger, you know, the right song at the right time can change history, right? That is, that is a theory that has been posited out there by people who are much smarter than I am as it relates to records. Can't, but the question is, can a song have a true impact on events in the real world? It can be argued, yes, Sam Cooke's change is going to come absolutely changed the world. In fact, it helped galvanize the civil rights movement in the 1960s. ACDC's Thunderstruck forever altered our understanding of climatology. It was... <laughs> every time Brian Johnson went, ooh, oh, 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 we felt the earth cry. <laughs> we had two guys who were gonna come out who believe that music can make a difference, and they're working with this organization called Make Music Matter. I'm really excited to have this, because we got Ian DeSaw from Billy Talent and Colin McCaslin from Sum 41. So right here, you're going to have a Canadian supergroup moment. Before they come out, take a look at the work being done by Make Music Matter in Kenya. <laughs> write songs to get things off their chest and and that's what those kids are doing they have a lot to get off their chest please welcome Ian the star for Billy Talent and from Sub 41 Colin McGaslin Dude, it's so nice to see you guys. You too. It's been a while. Great. People, yeah, totally. People just tuning in and thinking you formed a super group. <laughs> me and Cohen formed a super group. <laughs> That's right. Well, in a way, like you it. kind of have. Tell me, talk to me about this big music matter thing that you're doing. I think it's amazing. Yeah, basically, it's a competition and um, like a people, song competition. Yeah, yeah, like you submit. You know, people will submit songs or, yeah. or lyrics and um, inspiring change. You know, and it's you know then there's a voting process and uh, you know the winner will get to record with us. So what are they? So what are you looking for in a good song? Well, the, the well the song should inspire hope and change. Um, it's uh, you know lyric. You, you can submit lyrics or you can submit lyrics and music. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess we're just looking for a combination of really good lyrics and and good music. Were you always connected to these kinds of stories? When did you have your awakening to want to be a part of something like this? Uh, well, I think. Well, we both went to yeah, Africa on different yeah. occasions. Different occasions. I think yeah. you went to the Congo first, right? Yeah, I was in, in 2004, some 41 went to the Congo. Let's play a clip of that. We have yeah. a clip of it here. I think we all piled into Cohen's room. I think there was like 43 people. And we're all just kind of hiding out in the bathroom and hiding out on the floor. That we have uh, some people in between the Manuk headquarters and downtown. Now, they're walking back and forth above us about 40, 50 meters, okay? And they're firing at each other. That's you guys in some one getting caught in a crossfire, man. Yeah. When was the last time you saw I, that? I actually haven't watched that for a long time. Yeah. It kind of makes me feel weird, but... <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in a bathtub uh, yeah, trying not to get yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. It was uh, like we had... It, there'd been a ceasefire there for about a year before we went over, so we went over with War Child Canada to do a documentary on um, how they were rehabilitating the country and, you know, talking to uh, child soldiers and all that stuff. And then I guess a week in, like, this whole war started back up, so we were kind of caught in this hotel and had to be evacuated and all this stuff, so. Well, you know, are you a different person after a trip like that? Yeah. So you, you go home with a different perspective on things, I think. Yeah, you hear, you hear these incredible stories of all these things they've gone through, and yet they have the most positive, up, uplifting spirit. And uh, that's, the, that's the part that really affected me. I, was, I couldn't believe some of the living conditions they lived in, and, and yet they were super happy to see us and, and engaged us and, and uh, welcomed us as their visitors. And, so. oh, what's up? Anniversary coming up for both your bands, really. But yeah, yeah, 20 years for us. 20 years for you. We're 17, 17 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. 20 years for Billy Talent. That sounds That's weird. crazy. I feel super old. <laughs> <laughs> really old. What, what about you guys? Steve-O just left the band, right? Yeah. So how does that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he left. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know really what to say about it, you know. He just wanted to do other things. Right. Dude, I can play drums. I heard that you could, yeah. yeah. I'm very bad. You have to, you have to audition. <laughs> I'll audition for you. I'll be the audition for you. Um, it's an odd place to be as men, isn't it? Yeah. As opposed to those boys when you get going. And, you, and you're forced, because for a long time I think people get into a moment and they, they kind of feel this is going to last forever, or at least mm -hmm. a certain amount of time that when you're forced with change, are you just, as human beings, individually good with change? Uh, I... Yeah, I, I look at the band thing like a, a marriage almost. So it's like, you know, it's uh, gonna either fall apart or stay together, but you have to really work for it to stay together, just like a marriage. 
and it's been a 20-year marriage for us. Well, you do exactly that. what it is. Yeah. yeah, you guys have lasted a long time, both your bands. So yeah. no matter how, like the Stones still tour. <laughs> you know, yeah. how's the songwriting changed for you guys? Because you've been able to, to grow as songwriters, how has it changed for you now? It's always kind of been the same with us. But um, lyrics must change too over the years. Yeah, I mean, you get older and you don't sing about high school anymore and get drunk <laughs> in the back of an El Camino. Or, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would be <laughs> super creepy though if you were. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I still do that, but I don't sing yeah. it. We don't sing about it. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I still have an El Camino, yeah. so it does, yeah. it does actually work yeah. out. How about for you guys? Now, as we've gotten older, you, we've kind of realized that there's something to be said about focus and focusing one idea. And, and lyrically, you get older and you want to talk about mature subjects. and and controversial subjects and things like that. So that's how we've kind of changed since the early days. This is a real great opportunity to answer the song that you write. Not only will you get to work with great musicians, but you'll also get a chance to help people as well for music for change. It's so great to see you guys. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us. MySongForChange.com. There's still time to submit your own song, all right? You can also vote for your favorite as well, which is pretty cool. We'll be right back.